Hi, big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a field located in central New York near Hannibal, where SJP Farms hosted their third annual Spring Plow Day with 15 tractors in attendance on Sunday, May 28, 2023. In this video, I would like to take you back five decades in time to highlight three of the high horsepower two-wheel drive open station tractors that were working in this field. Plow days are always an exciting opportunity to see and hear farm machinery at work from the past. In this video, I would like to highlight three high horsepower open station tractors that you might have seen working together in a field during the early 1970s preparing the ground for corn planting. In the video, we'll take a look at an Oliver 1900 tractor with front wheel assist, an International 1566 tractor, and a John Deere 6030. John Deere customer in the early to mid 1970s, it didn't get any cooler than operating a John Deere 6030. This tractor was manufactured in Waterloo, Iowa from 1972 through 1977 and was the company's largest two wheel drive tractor at the time, with a total of 4,028 units produced. This machine is powered by an 8.7 liter turbocharged six cylinder. 531 cubic inch John Deere engine rated at 175 PTO horsepower. The tractor is fitted with a 73 gallon diesel fuel tank and features a John Deere synchro ranged partially synchronized transmission with eight forward and two reverse speeds. The tractor weighed in from the factory at 13,323 pounds and could be field weighted up to 18,180 pounds. It came with an original price tag as an open station model at $28,745. The Firestone tires on the 6030 tractor plowing in this video really make it stand out. The front tires are a turf in field or commonly referred to as a diamond tread tire. They were popular on high horsepower two wheel drive tractors in the 1970s. They improved flotation and the ride of the machine. The rear tire is a super all traction 23 degree 24.5 by 32 tire that really improves the traction and pull of the tractor, especially when it's running a seven bottom moldboard plow. The plow that you're watching is a John Deere 2500, manufactured for a short time period in the mid 1970s and is a period correct piece to be running with a 6030. This plow is somewhat rare because of its short production life. It has an automatic reset with a large spring on top that looks very similar to the International 700 series plow manufactured at the same time. It was ultimately replaced by the John Deere 2600 series in the late 1970s.
Red Power customers in the 1970s, the International 1566 was the king pin tractor to have in a farming operation. This machine was manufactured in Rock Island, Illinois at the International Harvester Farm Oil Plant from 1974 through 1976, with a total of 7,417 units produced. The tractor is powered by a 7.1 liter International Harvester DT 436 turbocharged six-cylinder engine rated at 161 PTO horsepower. The tractor is fitted with a 42-gallon diesel fuel tank and features a torque amplifier International Harvester transmission with 12 forward and 6 reverse speeds. The tractor weighed in at 12,870 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line and can be field weighted up to 15,000 pounds. The original price tag for a 1566 when it was new was $26,249. The tractor working in this video is operating a 24 foot wide International 496 tandem disc. The 1900 was Oliver's largest tractor from 1960 through 1964. Manufactured in Charles City, Iowa, there was an A, B, and C series in the four-year production run of the machine. The A series is known as the checkerboard style decal. The B series was released in 1962 and offered an increase of 10 horsepower and the option of a front-wheel assist, four-wheel drive traction front axle. The C-Series came out in 1964 with an upgrade to the tractor's steering and operator's platform. This tractor has a loud sound powered by a 3.5 liter General Motors 453 blower four-cylinder 212.4 cubic inch engine rated at 100 PTO horsepower. The machine is fitted with a 30.15 gallon diesel fuel tank. It could be ordered with either a 6-speed unsynchronized gear transmission or a 12-speed partial power shift transmission. The tractor rolled off the assembly line weighing in at 12,000 pounds and can be field weighted all the way up to 18,355 pounds. A two-wheel drive model had a list price of $8,817 and the front wheel assist model had a price tag of $11,591 when it was new. The Oliver 1900 tractor that you're watching in the video is operating a 15 foot wide Case D15 disc. Hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with these open station classic tractors plowing and disking. I would like to hear in the comment section below this video if you have fond memories of operating a big tractor like the ones that you've been watching, plowing, disking, or planting on your farming operation. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional Big Tractor content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.